3.2, number 15. We want to graph this linear equation, y plus 1 equals 0. So we're going to go ahead and do our regular chart. And the first thing I want to point out is that there is only one variable, variable here, just a y. Now as soon as you see that happening, it means you're either going to get a horizontal line or you're going to get a vertical line for an answer. So what you want to do is solve for the variable. So if y plus 1 equals 0, take away 1 on both sides, we get y is negative 1. And the way you want to think about this is y is always negative 1. So y is negative 1 always. All right, there's no room for it to change because there's nowhere I could put in an x value and make the value of y change. y is always minus 1. So no matter what three points I choose for x, it doesn't affect y. I could pick 0, 2, and 4, let's say. doesn't matter. I'm always going to have y is minus 1. So then we can graph it. x and y. And let's say every mark is worth 1. So there's 5, minus 5, 5, minus 5. If x is 0, y is negative 1. If x is 2, y is minus 1. If x is 4, y is minus 1. And I could have picked other points. doesn't matter what I put in for x. I'm always going to get y at the level of minus 1. No matter what x is. So no matter where I am horizontally. And you see this fills in. It's making a horizontal line. And that's the line y equals negative 1. If you end up with an equation, or if you start with an equation, where you have x as your only variable instead. Let's say x plus 2 equals 0. Again, solve for the variable. As soon as you see only one variable there, solve for it. x is minus 2. Well, this means x is always minus 2. So it doesn't matter what y is. I could pick you know, minus 4, uh, 1 and 3. I can pick anything I want. And I'm still going to get minus 2 for x. So if I have 1 unit per square, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 minus 5, 1, 2, 3, minus 3. So if I have x is minus 2, for y is minus 4, is right down here. x is minus 2, y is 1. x is minus 2, y is 3. And again, these would fill up no matter what point I picked for y. x is always going to be minus 2. So in that case, I would get a vertical line. 